two years ago I got in a fight in Colorado. You know, there was uh, guys that were fucking with me and me and a couple other guys were there. The guy started the fight, you know, and he hit me first and I hit him with the glass to defend myself and and uh, they were trying to put me in prison for a long time. You know, they were trying to put me in prison for 10 to 32 years. spent a lot of time and uh, it was the most stressful point of my life ever. That was my bottom, you know, it was like alcohol caused me, it caused me to put my freedom in jeopardy, you know, so that I may spend the rest of my good life in prison, you know. I'd get out when I'm 60 something years old. You know, a lot of your life is gone, you know, and I think about that and I go, I, to me, there's nothing worth that. You know, there's no alcohol, there's no, there's no time that I've had in my life from drinking that I go like, I would trade that for 30 years in prison. I try my best to, to lead by example, you know, and it's like what I was doing before was not leading by example, I was destroying by example. slow build for me it was a slow build I never got addicted to coke or you know this thing you know, I never never was like I never wound up that addicted to that stuff it was just a slow build over the years to where you know it got to the point where I was drinking almost every day you know and and, and, and I would like I could I, I managed to get through most of the time and get away with everything you know, like I managed to just somehow navigate through it or be slick enough and do these things and get through it by still like starting Baker Boys and having a pro career and having a shoe, doing all that stuff, but I just didn't do it as best as I really could, you know. fuck are you to tell me I'm doing it wrong? You know what I mean? And I have no place to tell somebody else they're doing it wrong. You know?
I don't drink anymore, and uh, that was my decision. You know, it didn't fit into my life, and I made that at 35 years old. You know? it took me a little while. Some of my friends made that decision at 23 or 24. You know? That was the path they were on. This is my path. And uh, what I appreciate about being sober now is that when I talk to somebody, instead of me being drunk, relating to like whatever drunk their things they're doing or having a shot or some whiskey with some kid that's you know 10 or 15 years younger than me what I do now is I can bond over a kid that's got a month of sobriety that's getting himself out of the position that I just recently got myself out of so like I think I look at it now as this is a different chapter in my life and a more positive where I can be a better role model a better father a better number of different things I think, I think creatively, maybe, you know, people in, in music, a guitar player or, you know, somebody that's, that's a musician or an artist is, is the same kind of deal as like, you know, like a skateboarder or a surfer, or, you know, any, people in, in these creative type fields where we've been blessed with like the never, never having to really grow up. It's not like I feel like I have an edge on people, you know, but I'm different, you know, like it's like we all are, you know, you're a part of something that's like, you're a part of something that's like, in a way, like a Mason, you know, secret society kind of, not, not like that, but you know, like you're a part of something that's, that's got a deep, you know, like, it's a family, there's a, there's a bond, and you just, you know, like, I guess, you know, but I guess I've gotten a little older, I, I guess I've become less of a... Thank you.